you're starting to schematically see where he fits in, uh, assignment-wise. I love Coach Spencer. Like, the first few months here, like, I fell in love with him. I mean, my biggest thing is I just want to get better. I mean, I know I got a lot of room where I can improve, and just day by day, just taking it step by step, I just want to get better. Hey, listen to me. Coach Glenn Spencer, defense is relentless off the team. Pre-COVID, we, we were already doing things in place to keep our kids safe. You know, a lot of things that people don't see, don't even think about behind the scenes, cleaning helmets and shoulder pads. Nine and no two. One, two. Yeah. Yeah. Coach Smithson, man. <laughs> Be proud of your work. Be proud of your work. You leave that field today, right? Be proud He's of it. He's an amazing person, first off. You know, he has his uh, monster energy drink every day at practice and uh, before meetings. And 10 out of 10, he's piped up. I can't even explain the words, can't explain how excited he'd be to, you know, be around us, to coach us, to teach us, to uh, love good. us. Y'all good? All right, let's go. Come on. Speed, speed, let's go. I speed. love Coach Spencer. Like, the first few months here, like, I fell in love with him because, like, I like the way he moved. I like the way he encouraged the players to get better. He encourages the whole defense to get better. Start to do that. Just think, great, give ground, right? He wants you to give it your all every single, every single play, every single. That's just what he expects. And no matter what you're doing, he just expects you to be a student of the game and everything, and just give your all. And that's what he gives to us too. So. His scheme, I really like his scheme. I really love it. it gives me the opportunity to fly around, make plays. Hey, listen to me, Coach Glenn Spencer. Defense is relentless off the team. I put a lot on these guys mentally because, you know, you'll, you come to find a really playing two different schemes out there. And that's even before getting to our sub packages. I mean, my biggest thing is I just want to get better. I mean, I know I got a lot of room where I can improve and just day by day, just taking it step by step. I just want to get better. Hey, 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 right here, right there, Set. We hold each other accountable. You know, that's not just in the group, that's the whole team. But as far as the group, um, you know, Dwayne Boyles, you know, we push each other every day. That's my guy, you know, we came in together. And he don't talk too much, you know, he just work. You know, that's his thing, he don't, and he'll tell you, like, I don't talk much, I'll just work. He's starting to schematically see where he fits in, uh, assignment-wise. He's really proud of him, you know, he, he's not a big, uh, big talker. He's kind of one of those guys I talk about authentic toughness. You know, he doesn't have to talk a lot but he's got a lot of respect in that locker room. Antonio now is, is kind of on the other end. You got, you got Bulls to reserve, and then you got Antonio, who's uh, he's an emotional player, which, which I love. I'd much rather have him emotional and, uh, and then let me try to calm him down. Having a long um, background story of how I grew up and where I came from, just putting all that emotion and passion into the game and into my teammates and you know all the summer workouts and the spring training that we all go through together. That's, that's, what, that's what's coming out, you know what I'm saying? The fans just see us with helmets on and shoulder pads and just watching us play. But as we cheer each other on, it's, it's a deeper uh, meaning behind, you know, why we cheering or why we so happy. But um, Coach always says um, success fuels emotion. I want the whole team just get better. Like, I want us to come together as a brotherhood. I want all of us to be successful in whatever we do. And I, I expect to go out there and win every game. That's how I take it. Just, uh, you know, seeing the kids' reaction to things and knowing that uh, not only just the athletes, but knowing that you helped people, you, you, you did things to accomplish a goal as a team and be a part of something that, you know, is bigger than just wins and losses. We have a student staff of roughly 14 now, uh, and then from when I started, <laughs> it's a huge difference, you know, years ago. Pre-COVID, we, we were already doing things in place to keep our kids safe. You know, a lot of things that people don't see, don't even think about behind the scenes, cleaning helmets and shoulder pads and jerseys and, and, and making sure our laundry chemicals have the right preventative measures in it to, to knock out COVID or anything else. You know, so we we're already doing all that stuff for our student athletes. Now it just becomes more frequent. how they want their drills set up, you know, and then knowing the different periods of practice, whether it's a seven on seven or a team period and whether they need sticks, you know, down markers, uh, whether you need to put a, a net up to, to catch some field goals or whatnot. Gives it a little better grip for the quarterbacks. 
like not as sticky, so it just gives a little bit of grip. Uh, my name is Eric Wright. Been here two years as a student, and now I'm in my second year as a GA, and I love it here at USF. Go Bulls! Back here in the vault, this is where we keep all of our coaches' clothes and players' clothes, and I'm about to go hang some coaches' stuff up. Hey, I'm Shelby. I've been doing Miami equipment for about four years, and it's my first season as a GA for USF, and I'm excited for the season. Go Bulls! I'm Joel. I've been doing equipment for a year and a half now. We are heat pressing numbers onto the players' equipment for game day. This is my uh, fifth head coach now, um, and they all are, are different in their own ways and all different personalities. I think Coach Scott bringing the real family atmosphere and trying to tie everything in culture-wise, uh, you can you can just feel it, you know, amongst the team, amongst the staff. We're going to be a, a player-first program. You know, the bar the bar is set. You know, best is the standard, and you know that's. When, when, when we hear best is the standard, um, we all as a team understand um, the level of where he's coming from when he say best is the standard. Hey, dude, hey, my put me at quarterback. Thank you. Top of the morning. We gotta get a good one in. And we finna make this on our friend. Yeah. Good.